All right, guys, um, Dre Greenlaw, um, still with his back. Um, they haven't got all the information yet, so we'll determine his status later in the week. Aaron Banks, ankle and knee sprain. He'll likely be out this week. Um, we'll see how he is next week. And Chris McCaffrey had a mild ankle sprain. It'll be day-to-day. -day. And Debo, we ex expect to continue practicing this week. And um, same with Elijah uh, Mitchell. Go ahead, guys. Yeah, Kyle, do you kind of get the sense with Aaron and with Dre that you dodged a bullet, that, that they'll be available sooner than later? Uh, I mean, I get the, the sense, yes. I mean, I think we'll – I mean, we're definitely going to miss Aaron for at least one game, um, and hopefully not Dre. It's just we're still, you know, with it being, I guess, it's a holiday. Um, we, we, don't, we don't have all the machines available until tomorrow. Um, so we'll find out that then. But, I, yeah, as bad as both of them looked um, – you know, we didn't know if it could be the whole season or not, so I do feel like we got some good news so far on it. Uh, ideally, if they're if they're good to go, would you like to get Elijah and Debo in the game this week? Um, I, yeah, I mean, I know they definitely could help us win. Uh, that's for sure, but um. I mean, if they're 100% and completely healthy and no, um, and going and they look great in practice, you know, I'd like to talk to both of them about it too, see where they are and how confident they are. Um, definitely talk to the doctors, but usually once they let them come out to practice, it's pretty good. And that's how we just got to see how they're moving, how they feel through it all. I know it's supposed to rain a bunch this week, so we'll see how much full speed stuff we can get in. Um, but yeah, I'd love to get those guys out there. I just want to make sure that's going to only help us and, and them and not hurt us. Uh, after reviewing the game, uh, what was your assessment of the defense and some of the breakdowns that occurred? Um, I mean, I think we had it in a number of places. So um, everybody had their fair share, whether it was secondary, the linebackers, or um, the defensive line. You know, on that first drive, you know, we just got beat on a play action and a cover two look that resulted in an easy explosive there in that third and one. I thought there was a number of times that – we lost our rush our rush lanes that I believe gave them two scrambling first downs on third down, one before that. Um, got right down inside the five on a big one on a third and long, um, which hurt us bad. Um, did make a couple of the plays down the field that they threw up. Um, one of those I chalk up to one of the best catches I've seen. Wish we had more camera angles of it, but I'm not going to want to take it away from them because it, it looked like a hell of a catch. Um, and then uh, they got a good running back, and we let him let him get to the edge a couple times, and we we got to set that edge a little bit better. And when we do get the edge, our corners got to replace a little bit better, so there's not so much space between them and the runner. Because when you give that much space for a guy talented like that, he's he's going to make you look silly most of the time. So um, a number of things just here and there that kind of added up, and um, they made us pay for them. How exceptional was was Ayuk's game, considering all the first downs he had and the big plays he made at the end? Uh, I thought I, I thought Ayuk really rebounded well. I thought he was struggling a lot in that game, um, but he ended up making some big plays at the end that really helped us win. So I thought um, it was a hell of a job by him just overcoming how some things started and things like that, and ended up finishing real strong. How what was he struggling? In what ways you? Yeah, I was going to ask the same question. What's that? What was he struggling with early in the game? Uh, just a number of things, just certain things that happen on every single play. You know, just I know wide ups, um, they only really get noticed on when they get the, the, the catches and things like that. But um, there's they, they are either blocking or running a route on every single other play too. Um, so, so just whether they get the ball or not isn't really what you always judge off of it. So there's responsibilities on each play, and so that's why you can't always judge how great of a game it was based off the stats. I know it was great that he got over 100 yards, which I was happy for him. He deserved it. It was and he's one of the reasons we won there at the end. I'm just saying that he's had, he's had some better games throughout the year. And just his development overall this season, how has he been doing? I just think Ayuk's been one of our leaders this year. Um, he comes to practice every day. He shows up for the game every day. I mean, every Sunday, good or bad, you can always count on him to give all that he's got. 
Uh, he's going to show up on Monday, take the critique, and um, come out and practice pretty much every Wednesday. He's found a way to stay healthy throughout this year, and I think he's one of the guys that everyone knows is going to be there week in and week out. Kyle, with Christian's ankle sprain, do you have any idea where that happened in the game? Uh, I don't. Yeah, yeah he didn't. Um, I don't think he really felt it or complained about it until after the game, So, and I never saw it on any of the tape. Well, did you learn anything new or about Brock Purdy's performance after watching the film? Um, not really. Um, I think it was similar to what I said last night. I mean, he did some real good things, made some big plays. It was hell of a drive there at the end right before um, um, we went to overtime. I mean, just going down there and taking a seven-point lead and also being able to, um, which, you know, you think put him away. Um, he made some huge plays on that drive. A couple he missed early in the game, but um, didn't phase him at all. He kept coming and battling back and played good enough for us to win. Kyle, how much, if at all, is the possibility of the one seed discussed, or is it something that is mentioned and then you kind of move forward from as you prepare and game plan for Arizona? Um, I mean, I mentioned it after the game when I talked to the team in the locker room, that, and I just told them that Minnesota lost, and right now we control our own destiny with the two seed, and because Philly lost, we have an opportunity for the one seed, and I just say that because if you add neither of those, then I think there's more of discussion on this week. But um, with both of those up, that's why I said it first thing to the guys in the locker room um, so they know what the deal is this week. And, and you thought that was important just to get the mindset ready to go to work on, on Monday? Uh, definitely. Just kind of laying the groundwork to, you know, we just had a big win that, you know, obviously was hard fought, took all the way to overtime to get it done. Um, you always want to know what's ahead of you. I want those guys to enjoy the win, enjoy the ride home on the plane. And also wanted to give them today off, give them, I guess, kind of their first victory Monday, just so they could recover a little bit. We've had some victory Mondays, but it's usually been, when we've come back from staying away or it's been because of a short week where we have no choice. So, um, but it was nice to talk about a bunch of the mistakes and, say how big of a game was coming this week. And even though they're getting the day off, that a lot of the guys come in individually met with some of their coaches to do it. And we'll find a correct way to correct all this stuff before those guys get started with us on Wednesday. Well, how did Mike McGregor and the rest of your offense and perform last night? I thought they were really good. I thought Mike might have had the best game of the year. Um, you know, I, you got, you know, I spoke real highly of, Crosby and how good of a player we saw him as and um, he was lined up on McGlinchey most of the game and, and for him to keep him off the stat sheet is a hell of an accomplishment. A couple more. How, how valuable is, I mean it's invaluable anyway, but when you lose someone like Banks and you have a guy like Brunskill who can fit anywhere just to, to plug in, how did he do and, and what does he mean to your offensive line? Uh, Dan's huge. I mean, he's played every spot for us. He's won games for us and at every single position, all five of them. Um, for him to go in there in that type of game, and he, you know, Dan's one of the smarter O-linemen I've ever been around. That's why he can play all these positions even um, without being at, them, at those for a while. And he um, can help make all the calls wherever he's at. And, I mean, just that last screen to Christian calling that verse an all-out blitz and how he was able to get out and get up on that guy. Um, who was coming up to guard Christian and man, it was, it was a big time play. And, um, you know, Banks has done a hell of a job for this, us this year. And um, I've been so impressed with him and it's really first year playing for us and it really sucked to lose him. Um, but it's nice when you have a guy there who's played a lot of football that, you know, you can count on. Kyle, well, uh, I'm not sure if I'm um, reading what you said correctly, but are you somewhat stingy with your victory Monday? Uh, yes. And it has nothing to do with being um, – yeah, I guess that's the right word. It's it's more that I think nothing's more important than what happens in games, and you got to review that stuff and get it fixed. And um, when you don't do it on Monday, you end up doing it on Wednesday, kind of, and you, you just pass over it faster, and then it ends up everyone have to stay twice as long on Wednesday. And by the time people come in on Wednesday, they just want to get the answers to the new test and what we're trying to work on. So it kind of gets lost in the shuffle, and I think – when you do that too much, um, too many things get missed. And that's why I try not to just do it on victories. Um, I try to do it when I think our team needs it. And that's why it usually has to do after a long road trip or um, I think 
how long we've been going to and just what our guys have done. I thought I thought they needed it this trip and but we'll make sure to find a way to make it up here Wednesday morning or over the next two days individually. Were they particularly right, fired up to, were they particularly fired up to get a legit victory Monday? Yeah, it's these guys if whenever you give them something they act like it's the biggest thing in the world, even if it's I could take two plays off of practice and you'll hear the biggest cheers ever and we could run eight more plays and they would have no idea. They just they they love anything where you can change the routine and but um our guys have earned it more than anything. I mean they've I've been so impressed with them this last month. Um I haven't had to get them going. I haven't had to ask them to practice harder. I haven't had to do anything. They these guys have been doing it the right way week in and week out and um we can't let the, we, we can't have that let up now. We got a huge game this week. I know these guys will come in Wednesday ready to go and we got to finish the season off the right way this regular season and make sure that we're playing our best football going into the playoffs.